The price of FTM, that's the native token of Phantom, is up over 13,000% in the last year. And at the time of this recording, it's up about 20% as well, which is nice. On the other hand, AVAX, the native token of Avalanche, has grown over 500% during that same window. AVAX is up 14% on the day. Both of these are hailed as potential Ethereum killers. Both offer very, very high percentage yields. They're also both lightning fast and offer super cheap transactions. In fact, many Ethereum dApps have made the choice to move to Phantom and Avalanche. And more or less, even their ecosystem growth looks the same, but Phantom has been crushing Avalanche in terms of key on-chain statistics, number of per day transactions, and now even the total value locked, TVL. But when we compare the two platforms, it was evident that Avalanche had two major advantages over Phantom. So does this mean that Avalanche could potentially flip Phantom in terms of TVL? Which of these two have the best chance of dethroning Ethereum? And between FTM and AVAX, which has the chance of thriving even if we do enter into a more prolonged bear market? Stay tuned guys, we compare Avalanche and Phantom as well as their tokens in this video. Okay, so to begin with, in this corner to fight for the title of Ethereum killer, we're first looking at Phantom. FTM is the ticker. Phantom is a compatible EVM that's Ethereum virtual machine smart contract blockchain that is high performing. It's also scalable and secure, and it was created to address the shortcomings of prior blockchain systems. Phantom is open source, permissionless, and decentralized. And the native token of Phantom is FTM, which has a current market cap of about $7.4 billion with a 24 hour trading volume of $1.5 billion. Also, its circulating supply represents 80% of the total supply with 2.54 billion tokens in the ecosystem right now. This is always something that we like to see. On the other hand, Avalanche is the quickest smart contract blockchain in terms of time to finality, and it has the most validators of any proof of stake protocol. The native token of Avalanche is AVAX, of course. We actually did an exclusive video on Avalanche just the other day. Go back and check that out if you missed it. But AVAX has a current market cap of $20.7 billion with a 24-hour trading volume of just under a half billion. Also, its circulating supply represents 64% of the total supply, also a high figure, with 244.3 million tokens. So as you guys can see, Phantom is about a third the size of Avalanche, but it represents three times more transactions. So this demonstrates that its ecosystem is growing at a faster rate. So in this video, we are very much pitting Avalanche against Phantom. And like all good fights, we need to look at the pros and cons of these platforms in all kinds of different areas. So this means that we're gonna look at whether they're undervalued or overvalued. We're also examining types of wallets and what they offer. Scalability options and risks, that's also a major factor. We're also considering governance, quality of the leadership team, validation of their proof of stake systems. We're taking a look at their respective consensus mechanisms, the recent developments that each can boast, partnerships that they have announced and programming language differences, along with a final variable, a token analysis section. So we are very much trying to implement a rigorous methodology here. You can always skip to those sections that you're most interested in using the chapters in the timeline below. Let's get started with this comparison of Avalanche and FTM. So let's first examine whether we think these projects are either undervalued or possibly overvalued. For DeFi platforms, market cap by total value locked is a key ratio known as the MC over TVL. That's market cap over TVL ratio. And this helps to identify whether a coin is either overvalued or undervalued. Look at the chart here for Phantom, which has a MC over TVL ratio of less than one, while Avalanche has a ratio of 1.92, which clearly means based on this metric, that FTM is still undervalued and will continue to soar, while arguably Avalanche is overvalued and with every market correction may see its price go down. In this case, and again, by this particular statistic, clearly Phantom is the winner. 
Okay, we begin now with wallets and we'll start by looking at Phantom, which is compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, which means of course that this blockchain will be compatible with the same wallets as any of Ethereum's protocols. So these are MetaMask, Ledger, Coinbase wallet, Trust wallet, Math wallet, others that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. But apart from these, Phantom has an official wallet called F wallet where you can send receive and stake your FTM and gain access to Phantom's DeFi dApps. Avalanche, on the other hand, has its official non-custodial wallet, which you can gain access to via private keys, mnemonic key phrases, keystone files, or even your ledger if you so choose. This one's a little closer, but we do feel that Phantom has better wallet compatibility because you won't need to create a new wallet having your phantom tokens in the same wallet that you have other assets, but in a different network inside it. Next up on the list, we're considering the team and we'll begin with phantoms team. They have 22 members who are all engineers, scientists, researchers, designers, and entrepreneurs. This is something that we've picked up on in terms of their profiles, which are all available here. We're on phantom.foundation where you can get more access to information on these individuals. On the other hand, Ava Labs is behind Avalanche and they have vast experience from leading companies who belong to the Fortune 500 group as well as blockchain companies. And Ava Labs team has more than 100 members. They're available here. If you want to go through them, they're all public facing again for both Avalanche and Phantom, this is always something that we look out for, the public facingness and non-anonymity of their team members. You can check them out for yourself on avalabs.org. And for this particular round, we do feel that Avalanche is the winner because it has a stronger team than Phantom, having both more experience and more members from a wider array of backgrounds. Okay, let's get a little bit more technical now and discuss programming language. With Phantom, We've already said that one of the most important advantages of the project is that it is EVM compatible. So this means that developers are going to be able to build smart contracts with the most famous programming language in the entire ecosystem. That happens to be Solidity. And also developers can use Viper. With Avalanche, developers can also deploy their smart contracts in an improved version of Solidity, which is known as Solidity++. So in this case, Avalanche has optimized features to make dApps, which can be more scalable, more secure, faster, and all of this means that they're more easily executed by users. However, Phantom is compatible with both Solidity and Viper, which means that there are more developers that can migrate their Ethereum dApps to Phantom and code new ones faster. And so for this reason, Phantom is the winner. Let's talk about scalability now. With the first generation of blockchain platforms like Ethereum, smart contracts allowed for the execution of decentralized applications. However, when more complicated dApps and or users are added into the mix, the network, as we all know, painfully as a whole, very much slows down. So as a result, Phantom and Avalanche have both developed to close this gap that has been the goal, but each one of them does it differently. Phantom solved the scalability problem by providing each application its own blockchain, similar kind of to how different computers on the same network run different applications. Each blockchain is self-contained with really its own set of tokens, tokenomics and governance rules with more than 4,500 transactions per second and the time finality in Phantom is one second. By contrast, in Avalanche, developers can launch Ethereum dApps in Avalanche instantly to make the protocol have more than 4,500 transactions per second and the time of finality is less than two seconds. So this means that developers can scale decentralized applications pretty easily because protocols can have the same dApp in more than one blockchain, but with faster and cheaper transactions. In conclusion here, we are giving a slight edge to Phantom because it is scalable and that capacity is higher than what we see in Avalanche. Let's now discuss governance, beginning with Phantom, which is one of the first completely decentralized blockchains that offers on-chain governance. One FTM token, really means one vote, it's that simple. And in Phantom, the governance mechanism is controlled by that native token, FTM, where its holders can participate and propose improvements in on-chain decisions. And to do it, holders need to stake their FTM tokens. 
Also, it counts 100 FTM tokens to propose a submission and one FTM to vote. Likewise, in Avalanche, users can hold AVAX to participate and propose governance decisions. For example, AVAX holders can vote to change the minting rate, staking amount, or even staking time, but we couldn't really find official sources as to how the governance voting works in Avalanche. If you guys are familiar with this and can correct the record, let us know about it in the comments below. Therefore, we think that this feature is still kind of seems to be in development. At least that's our impression based on our research. And so because of that, on the topic of governance, we think that Phantom wins. Again, it's a blockchain that already has a fully established voting structure. Meanwhile, Avalanche hasn't quite finished constructing theirs. Okay, now we talk validation, beginning with Phantom. To be a node validator in Phantom, you need at least 500,000 FTMs. That's about $1.4 million worth of tokens. And you also need specialized hardware, which itself can be very costly. However, you have approximately 13% API waiting for you in FTM rewards if you meet those criteria. With Avalanche, to be a node validator, you need a CPU equivalent of eight AWS vCPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage with Ubuntu as your operating system. And also the minimum amount of AVAX to be a validator is 2000 AVAX. Still expensive, but much less than Phantom's requirement. So 2000 AVAX is approximately $164,000. And so Avalanche is our winner for this comparison because an individual looking to set up a validator node on Avalanche really just needs less money to do so than they otherwise would with Phantom. It's that simple. Therefore, in the future, it's very probable that Avalanche will be more decentralized. Moving right along, we're now discussing the consensus mechanism of each project. Phantom's ABFT consensus algorithm is called Lachesis. And this mechanism is a faster, more scalable and secure alternative compared to Bitcoin's consensus. And the two biggest advantages of Lachesis are that it's Byzantine fault tolerant, which means that Phantom can operate with two thirds of the nodes in comparison to any other blockchain. And secondly, the finality time is fast because transactions don't need to wait for block confirmations and are confirmed in only one or two seconds. With Avalanche, its consensus protocol is scalable and decentralized with low latency and is highly efficient. And also, it's important to say that Avalanche's protocol consensus makes it resilient to 51% attacks. Furthermore, in Avalanche, the acceptance and rejection of a block is definitive and only takes a few seconds. So this one is very, very close. We feel that both blockchains have very efficient consensus mechanisms. And because the margins here are kind of subjective, we feel that basically this will be a tie. Now it's time to discuss recent developments. Phantom has developed an incentive program with 370 million FTM tokens that led developers to place funds in their TVL, total value locked. This has generated an increase of more than 600% on the TVL of Phantom's protocols. Also, in the last 72 hours, $1 billion in FTM tokens were bridged from Ethereum to Phantom. And Phantom has also partnered with Scuderia AlphaTauri, which is an F1 team. And the goal here is to get F1 fans acquainted and get them more familiar with Phantom's technology. Avalanche will be launching its summit this year in Barcelona from the 22nd to the 27th of March, where protocols and important leaders will give important announcements, or at least that's what we're expecting. Also, a few days ago, Avalanche accomplished 1 million transactions in just one day, which is a new all-time high for that particular metric. This represents 84% of Ethereum's daily volume of transactions, and therefore is a very, very commendable milestone. Finally, Avalanche has integrated with Chainstack, and this means that developers will have a better experience building decentralized applications. Both projects are impressive here, but Phantom undoubtedly is reaching more important milestones nowadays. And so for this particular round, Phantom wins hands down in our opinion. And finally, guys, our last category is a token analysis of both projects. So according to CoinGecko, 
the FTM token has a max supply of 3.1 billion units, where again, as we mentioned, 80% of them are currently circulating in the ecosystem. And that's a good figure. Also, FTM has the following use cases. They offer node validation, staking, fast and low cost P2P payments. You have governance votes and pay fees. And you can buy FTM tokens in many exchanges like Digifinex, Binance, HitBTC, Gate.io, and many others. According to Avalanche's white paper and CoinGecko, the max supply of AVAX is 720 million, where about 52% of them are already in circulation currently. And AVAX has the following use cases. You have P2P payments, staking, you can pay fees inside Avalanche's protocols. It offers governance voting and node validation. And moreover, you can buy AVAX in a whole range of prestigious markets and exchanges like Binance, Bitfinex, Digifinex, Coinbase, and many others. In this particular round, we're concluding that Avalanche has a better future in terms of distributing their tokens in protocols, total value locked, for example, to their holders. Therefore, Avalanche wins. What is the ultimate conclusion? Well, after analyzing each point and just by tallying up the scores round by round, you guys can see that Phantom has won in wallet compatibility, scalability capacity, governance mechanism, recent developments, and also offers a more compatible coding language. But Avalanche has a bigger and more diversified team behind it. Also, it's more accessible to be a node validator and AVAX has a longer path to incentive protocols or users and makes the ecosystem bigger. But we gotta go by the numbers here. And yes, it's clear Phantom has emerged as our winner in this head-to-head -head comparison. Guys, let us know your thoughts about this battle in the comments below. Let us know where you agreed with us and where you disagreed with us. If you have a dissenting opinion or another point of view, again, let us know in the comments below. If you are still watching this video, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell to receive notifications. That way YouTube alerts you every time we publish new content, often, which can be very time sensitive. As you guys know, these videos are never financial or investment advice, but if you're looking on trading signals, if you're looking for more detailed research, and you wanna gain access to our premium paid membership, Altcoin Buzz Access, can take a look at our strategies and some of the methods that we've employed to earn 100x profits or more in some of these terrific projects. If you guys are interested in gaining access or information to our paid service, check out the link which is in the description below. Best of luck guys, if you do choose to invest, check out these other couple of related videos which should be popping up right about now. Stay safe members of the Altcoin Buzz Army and as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.